Oh my God, CD Baby is delivering music to TikTok. So what even is TikTok? It's a social app for sharing short videos with people dancing and lip syncing and telling you how to make things. Think of it as a combination of Instagram stories, Snapchat, and the now defunct Vine. It's got 500 million active users right now. It's growing fast. And about half those users are between the ages of 16 and 24. So it skews young and a lot of the stuff you'll see, a lot of the genres you'll hear will skew young as well. And if you're say 30 and up, that might leave you thinking, do I really even need to be on TikTok? No, of course you don't. You should be where you're communicating with your fans effectively. But I would say this, in the same way that the baby boomers are now widely embracing Spotify and Instagram, the same thing could be true of TikTok in a few years. And the sooner you get in there, the more impact you'll have in terms of shaping how the interests and the music and the voice of your generation gets represented on TikTok. All right, so if you made it this far and you think you wanna give TikTok a try, I'll repeat the good news. CD Baby is delivering your music there automatically. So I will walk you through the basics of how to use TikTok and how to add your music to your videos. Right off the bat, when you open up TikTok, they're gonna show you some videos they want you to see. To refresh, just click home. Now you can scroll through the trending videos of the day, just swipe down. And if you want to search for something more specific, click discover. Then you can scroll down and search through trending hashtags or use the search bar to find an artist or a hashtag or a topic that you want to follow. To see your own profile, click me. There I am with seven whole followers. Now to record your own TikTok video, click the plus sign and hit effects and you can check out all the filters they have. All right, let's go with that one. Then it's time to pick the song you want to add to the video. So go up to sounds. Search for the artist name or the song title, scroll down till you find it, and then click the red check mark. Once you do that, the song's gonna be added to your video, but you still wanna find the right 15 seconds of the song. To do that, hit trim, which has the little icon of scissors cutting up the music, and then just toggle through, sort of scroll through the song until you find the right part, then hit the check mark again, and it'll add that specific part of the song to your video. You can shoot video incrementally and do real-time editing. So you can stop and start and stop and start again. And as you do, the audio will also stop and start. So you'll always be at the correct part of the song when you hit record again. If you're shooting at a slower or faster rate, then the audio will also speed up or slow down accordingly for the recording process. When you're done shooting the video, the audio on playback will be at the normal speed the whole time. All right, let's switch up the filters here. Oh, that's a good look. The blue bar at the top basically lets you know how much more time you have. So you can keep shooting video in increments until that's full. Once it is, it's time to either add some text, add some stickers, or just publish it. Click next if you like it. Make sure that toggle switch is on if you want people to be able to make duets or reaction videos to the videos that you post. Add a description, and once it's all good, click post. All right, there is a lot you can do with TikTok. That was just the very basics. I would recommend you just get on the platform, start watching other people's videos, kind of see what the vibe is all about, then get more and more comfortable with the tools and make some crazy stuff of your own. Also, be sure to check out our other DIY Musician Minute video about boosting your engagement on TikTok.